I'm gonna be real, doing these e-breaks was definitely a pain in the ass for like the first hour I was doing it. But once I realized what I was doing, it was pretty easy. So what's up guys? I'm coming back real quick just to explain how to do the e-break and everything because I didn't want to leave you guys hanging, but I'm putting it in short format. So let's go. First step is reconnecting the e-break cable to the bracket that's on the back of the e-break shoe. After the cable's connected, you're gonna want to throw the shoe up and place a rod through the hole that's in the back of the backing plate and have it go through the shoe as well. Then grab one of the springs and then also one of those caps that has the, the uh, slit through it. You're gonna wanna put that over the rod and then turn it 90 degrees so that it locks in place. And then as far as trying to get shoe number two on, what you're gonna wanna do is grab the adjuster and then grab this spring here. You're gonna wanna hook that spring onto shoe number one, which should already be on your hub, and then hook it onto shoe number two. And as you're trying to put shoe number two on, you're gonna wanna throw the adjuster in between them both and then kind of just shimmy it in there. And then finally, moving on to the top, there's gonna be that bar that's sitting right behind the ABS tone ring throw a spring on that and it's going to want to sit in between the brake shoes if you can kind of see and then there's those two springs up there just holding the tension with that plate behind it and then that's pretty much it tighten the adjuster at the bottom make sure your rotor goes on nice and smooth and then you're all good all right thank you bye